the fear of what other people think about you. most likely will be the number one reason why you don't reinvent yourself, why you don't recreate yourself, and why you don't become who you need to be to kill it quickly. The fear of what other people think about me. Look to your left, look to your right. If anybody's next to you, say, screw you. Why? Because it doesn't matter what they think about you. Write this down. You will never out earn your own self-worth. You will. That means what you think about you is ultimately all that matters. So why would it matter what anyone else thinks about you? It doesn't. But we live in a world in which somebody says, raise your hand if you believe in this. And before they'll raise their hand, they'll look to the left, they'll look to the right, because they don't want to be the only one raising their hand. I assure you, I was the only one that believed in me when I started my business. Anytime that I pushed through and did something big, when I did massive things, I had to believe first. No one else believed in me. Look, your family, your friends, your neighbors, their goal is to keep you safe and get you to play small. They don't want you to take risk. Why would you give up your nine to five, Mr. Entrepreneur? Why would you put yourself in that suffer position? Why would you go through that? Hey, screw what they think. The fear of what other people think about you. You'll never out earn your own self-worth. You'll never out earn your own self-image. Have an image of what you want to become and who you want to become. If anyone thinks differently, who cares? Amateurs stay the same. Or they get, they're like stagnant, stinky water. Pros, write this down, they reinvent themselves, reinvent, that means to recreate. Pros reinvent and recreate themselves every single day. When things get uncomfortable, don't shift or change your plan. The reason why you're not going to get what you want, you're not going to build this massive business, is because you won't stick to your plan. You will deviate and change on it nonstop when things get uncomfortable, hard, and scary. Don't do it. There was a time where I didn't change the plan, and I honestly thought that it wasn't going to work out, but you know what I knew? I knew that the compound effect of doing something good over and over and over has a massive payout, and guess what? Since I didn't change, I was right. So, a lot of you right now, the reason why you'll never get to where you wanna go in life is because you keep changing your plan. You never work your plan. Plan the dive, dive the plan. And by the way, let me explain the goal in life is to reinvent yourself every day. You, you should want to reinvent yourself every day, okay? You want your wife to admire you? You can change every day. I wanna be like, I just can't keep up with my husband. Every day, he's going to another level. And by the way, I've recreated myself so many different times in life, but this last one was different. This is the year that we change and grow faster than ever before, and we fall in love with change. Like, do me a favor, guys. Think about this. You got one of two choices. You either suffer becoming a new person and enjoy it, or you suffer staying the same and you don't enjoy it. You're going to suffer either way. There's no coasting, because coasting only goes down. It's either you grind and rise, or you're miserable and you fall. Both are hard. So everybody, this year is gonna be a hard year. It'll be the hardest year of your life, either in the best way or in the worst way. I told my wife, this is gonna be the hardest year of my life in the most fulfilling, greatest way I've ever had. I'm gonna work out harder, I'm gonna be more disciplined, I'm gonna be better to my team, I'm gonna be better to her, I'm gonna be a better example, I'm gonna make sure I keep negative out of my mouth, I'm gonna make sure I inspire everybody that I come in contact with, I'm gonna make sure I make good decisions, I'm gonna make sure that I don't go to anger in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna make sure that I don't assume things until I really understand what's going on because a lot of the times people read into stuff and they create stories in their head that don't exist and they're fake. 99% of the shit that you're thinking of in your head actually isn't real and it doesn't, it's, it's not working that way. It's because we're getting emotional. Our job is to get our team tied to something emotional in their life, which is like, hey, are you gonna be the, the first person in your family to break the bloodline open and create wealth? Yes, I want you to tie your feelings to that as you're working. So when you feel like slowing down, I want you to remember what you're after.